Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Now, Maker Central for me has just finished this year and it was an amazing weekend. I'm hopefully going to have a video on my channel, but there's loads of other videos about Maker Central uh, on YouTube at the moment because it was epic. Now, I may have spent a little bit of money than I was meant to. I sold some mini mallets, I gave away the giant sword, and I used that to buy this. This is the Lumberjack PT305 heavy duty thickness planer. Now we're going to get this unboxed, built, set up and stored somewhere and I'm going to throw it out. I have so much wood up here that I need to mill. It's unbelievable. So we're going to get this all sorted and you're going to see what I think about it, good or bad. I'm going to let you know. So let's go. <laughs> annoyed. I hope this pallet might be a bit nicer, but it's pretty bad. I was hoping to get some free wood. Oh well. I do like to think of myself as a modern man, so I do like to read the instructions. Yeah, I'll do. Find some help. I see what I'm doing now, Major. Cut to some help. Now, I may just not be finding it, but it would have been nice if an Allen key was included. To a huge steaming ball of foreshadowing. Oh, so what's just happened is me being dense, completely dense, has just noticed this toolbox sign. And inside this toolbox is the Allen keys and the wrench that you need. But I've been using my own personal ones because I didn't think there was ones in the box. This would have been helpful to know about an hour ago. You idiot! Thing to do is to wire the plug up. So yeah, let's wait. <laughs> you don't think I'm going to show you how to wire a plug, do you? I mean, one, you already know it probably, and two, I don't have the public liability insurance for that. So uh, you can uh, you can just go now. Okay, so now we've got it roughly where we want it. We need to actually get it set up and tuned, which is something that I've not done before. So. Okay, so to go from planar to thickness of mode, nice and simple. Undo the right hand switch at the back, pull that out, and I like to 
put it back on the other side. You've got a switch underneath here. You put it out and then twist it towards you and then your side section will lift up. Obviously, unconnect, disconnect the hood from underneath and then what you're gonna do is flip it over, put it on top, engage those switches. Again, it will not work if you don't have those switches in place. You've then got your belt here, so you lift up, forward and down to engage the belt. And then, you are ready to go. To get it back down, don't forget the pin here, I've done that a couple times. So pull that, give it, find the right spot, pull it up, and then it will slide back down. That one goes back round and pushes back in, and you're back in planar mode. My first time using a lovely big fitness planer and it is a beauty. So with the power of editing we're going to skip a little bit further in time and I'll let you know what I think about the uh, TP305 um, in a second. So so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. So now I've had this machine now for a couple of months and I've been playing with it and using it. I've run some live edge stuff with some epoxy in it and it seems to be working perfectly fine. Honest opinion this machine, it is now the workhorse of the shop. I do like it, there are a few things that I don't get onto them in a minute but let's talk about the good things to start with. Nice, easy adjustment of the thicknesser. Nice, easy adjustment of the planer. Fence, nice and easy. When it comes to the fence, I wish there was a place to store it when you put it into thicknesser mode. Some little hook or something in the back. So I end up having to swing it around and put it back and backwards. But, little complaint compared to what it is. The fence is easy to adjust, it's nice and straight, and it tends to stay there. So the planer itself, really nice. It seems to handle a lot of the wood really nice. So I'm happy with the planer. Now the thickness on the other hand, yes it is very, very good. And I do like, the only thing I don't like is how you put it into thickness of it. Now, this front section lifts up as you've seen, and then you have to disconnect the dust collection, flip it over, put it on top. And to me, that's a little bit cumbersome. Now, if you've seen some of the other machines like the Axe Minster and stuff like that, the whole thing lifts and then you flip it over. Now, that is a lot better system in my opinion. I'm not saying this is bad, it's just different. It would just be nicer if I didn't have to disconnect the dust collection every time I wanted to do it. But again, just a small niggle compared to the overall machine. Some of the other things that I don't necessarily like, if you don't have dust collection in your shop like me. So I'm currently using it with just a little bag. And as you can see, it does collect things perfectly well. The only problem is the actual dust collection hood. Now the dust collection hood sits over the top, which isn't so bad when you're in this mode. But if you're in plain mode, it just collects underneath and it sits like a bomb. Now, again, if I had a full dust collection sucking this the dust and the shavings out, it wouldn't be a problem. But for a shop that doesn't have it like mine, that is a big issue. So I need to get that sorted. But if you're thinking about buying one of these, this should definitely be an option. So this one for me was just under a thousand pound at Maker Central. I was very lucky to get it at the price I did. Even if, if I didn't, it's still a very good machine for your entry level, bigger machine. Before this, I had a little planer for the bench top and I had the Triton Thicknesser. If you're going to upgrade from those which are about £500, this one is a good option because if you the next size up from this, you're looking at like the Axminster and things like that, you're looking at £2,000, £1,600, things like that. I'll put a few options in the description for you. But for this one, for the price it is, for the workhorse it is now, it is a very good option. Now, if you've got any questions, make sure you ask them in the comments or DM me on Instagram and I will happily give you some help and support. Or reach out to Lumberjack themselves. They are very, very good. I'm going to have a bit more of a play and uh, I'll see you 
お前が運転ねバイ